another guy who says that one of these jugs of liquid lime is worth a ton of ag lime. Well, just think about that for a minute. And I'm going to head over to go over the chemistry of this right now. Okay, class is in session. So what I wanted to explain was that I think there's a misconception out there that calcium is what changes the soil pH. And while calcium is an extremely important nutrient and should be high in your, in your soil, um, it's the in a calcium carbonate molecule, which is what limestone is, it's the carbonate part of it that actually changes the soil pH. Now, what's acidity? Acidity is hydrogen ions. And I won't go off into a whole chemistry lesson on what hydrogen does, but it, it prevents basically uh, nutrients from flowing into your roots. Okay, let's just leave it at that. So calcium carbonate or lime comes in contact with water and it turns into HCO3 and gives off an OH negative ion, or hydroxide. Then the hydroxide combines with your hydrogen, okay, and that yields an H2O, or water molecule. So that ties up your hydrogen, and the more of these you have floating around, the more hydrogen you can tie up. So that's what changes your pH. Now, most of the soils in Pennsylvania mountains require three tons of lime to get to a six and a half pH. So if you have three tons of, of lime, pulverized limestone, you're looking at probably 2,500 pounds of calcium in there. And even if, let's say that the pulverized lime is not as fine as the stuff that's in the bottle, I'll give you that. So let's, let's say that half of it Let's, let's go back to one ton. One ton has about 800 pounds of calcium. And they're saying that a gallon of the stuff is worth a ton of lime as far as moving pH. Well, how could you possibly get enough molecules into something that has to be about 50% water? Okay, so it's really just a slurry of very fine calcium carbonate, and <clears throat> let's say that half of it is calcium carbonate. So if a, if a gallon weighs 10 pounds, you got 5 pounds of calcium carbonate in a gallon, okay? And you're telling me that that's equal to a ton of 2,000 pounds in, in lime. I don't know. I, it doesn't add up. So I'm going to have to say that this stuff is snake oil. However, when, um, when I was watching the videos, I noticed that they were uh, putting humix in with it. There was, it was, had a dark color, so I'm assuming that's humix in the mix. And humix are a wonderful thing to put on your soil because, um, well, it does all sorts of things. It's, it's derived from coal, and uh, humic acid will uh, help with the soil tilth, help with the uh, nutrient holding capacity and the water holding capacity of your soil. Now, humus is something you can build up with your cover crops and your soil biota. But to get started on some abused soil, say you're trying to turn a, an old cornfield into a, you know, something that's really been trashed like that into a food plot, you may want to put some of that stuff on there just to get it started. 
and then put your cover crop in, get your pH corrected with limestone. So no, ma no matter what you come up with to make it easier, um, I, I got to call BS. I can't see how you can spray on it's like it's like the spray on tan you know you can't get a tan by spraying it on you got to go lay in the sun you got to do the work okay so now you can you can put pelletized on it's finer easier to handle but pulverized lime is the only way that you're going to change your pH now uh, I want to put a link down here there's a bunch of other myths uh, that I did a video on a while back it's a pretty popular video and uh, I'm going to put a link to that somewhere on here so that you can link over and check that out too because there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, misinformation on liming and changing your pH out there on the internet. So I guess the moral of the story is don't, um, don't get all your info off the internet, especially Facebook, okay? All right, so that's, that's the lecture for today. Um, if you want to argue with me and tell me that you tried this stuff and it worked fantastic, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I would love to have you prove me wrong because there's nothing I would like better to, than to take a bottle of stuff, put it in a tank, and spray it on my, on my uh, 5 pH field and, and get it up to the 6.5, but I'm not buying it. Okay, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And happy food plotting. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below and let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.